Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Uh, excuse me for just a moment. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> hot here. I think I need a shower. <laughs> no, no, we are going to the bathroom. We're all going to go to the bathroom <laughs> together at this point so that we can look at the before and after amazing designs that she does in bathrooms. She's an interior designer, an amazing one at that, and love taking a look at her work. Marsha Moore is back with us. How are you doing today? I am doing well, but it is a little hot here, so mm. <laughs> it's well, a good thing we're looking at bathrooms. Yes, yeah, so you know, we'll make the water a little little cooler and not a, yeah. not a, not a yeah. steamy shower. Uh, <laughs> do, I detect that you enjoy designing bathrooms. Would you say I do. So? They're they're a lot of fun. That you can get really creative and and usually old bathrooms are so dated and so ugly and so awful and so don't work, don't function well that it's it's one of those. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's so awesome when it's done. So it's it, that makes it fun too. Mm. So like, let's just dig right into it. You've got a whole bunch of pictures in the before and after, and let's take a look. Okay. Now I got to, am I sharing? Share. There we, there we are. Okay. So this is obviously a before. <laughs> hmm. This this is um, a small garden home and a single woman lives here. It's the bathroom is set up for two people with two sinks on the right side that you can't see is a tub and you can almost see the shower and then the master, the closet is at the end of the room. So mm -hmm. this was not functioning well at all and totally dated. So here's what it looks like now. Wow. So we put one sink on one side and she didn't want uh, another, uh, uh, the tub. So we put the other sink on the other side and I'll show you that in a minute. But the things we did in here to make this look uh, larger than what it is, we put the tall cabinet right next to the door where you can't see it when you're walking into the room. So the room feels more spacious. We have the floor is open. So that cabinet doesn't go all the way to the floor, which also a bigger floor makes it feel bigger. So that's a, and we kept everything really neutral also so that it uh, you weren't inundated with lots of color or or busyness. This is the other side. This sink used to be a tub. There was a big window behind it, which is, uh, uh, you can't see. Ooh. But we put a mirror hanging from the ceiling in front of it so that we could have that be a second uh, sink. And then the shower, all glass, as much glass as we could in order again to make the room look bigger. And one more photo. This is what we did on the interior of the shower. Rather than having a niche on the wall where everybody could see it, we created a niche inside that half wall where when you're walking into the room, you can't see it. So it doesn't have to be looking good. You can hide a lot of products there. And the angled part of it is actually, actually a bench. So she can sit down or put a leg up if she wants to shave. So mm -hmm. love that. So functional. And I want to make sure I heard it clear. It looks like I'm 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 seeing it. That's a window in front of the sink. Yeah, yeah, that's a and that, that so that was a tub there and that was an opaque window. It lets lots of light in, which is great, but we had to um we had to have a mirror for that sink, so we put the mirror. Looks it, it kind of looks like it's not hanging right, which is just the the view sure, of sure. The, the picture, but um yeah, so that way you have a a mirror. Wow. Wow, that is uh so you say opaque window. We can't actually see out that window, correct? No, if somebody was outside right up next to the window, you'd be able to see a shadow. And the same if you were right up next to that window, somebody would be would be able to see your shadow um from the outside, but because nobody's going to be right up next to that window, um the only time you could see any kind of shadows at night is if it's dark outside and they've got all the lights on in the bathroom, but you really can't see anything. So I'm conflicted about that window. So, and I, I love the mirror hanging in front of it because you, you usually need a mirror there. Um, why, why are we not able to see out that window? Is this a first floor? It is the first floor. It's the glass is opaque. It's it's frosted or something so that you can't see out. Was it always that way or you did that? No, it was always that way. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. Would you, okay, let's, let's look at it this way. It's a, it's a regular window. Let's just say it's a regular window. Would mm -hmm. you be on, would you have been on board for that just to leave it? No, no, we would have had to either make, uh, take the glass out and put in opaque, or we'd have had put some kind of window treatment to close it off because you, these are garden homes. So they're real close to each other. So you would have uh, easily been able to see her uh, from the outside. And there you go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> I, I wonder, you never really see a window in that position. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In a bathroom, and I'm, yeah. I'm, you know, bro, you know, obviously you don't want anybody looking into your bathroom. But I was just kind of, yeah, kind of wondering. But yeah, and but but again, what do you what are you left with? Fabulous natural lighting coming from that yes. window. Yes, definitely, mm -hmm. which helped a lot. Okay, moving cool. on. We saw that. So this is another kind of a, a attached garden home, and definitely old. And this is what we did to it. We actually kept those existing cabinets, which you can't tell that they're the same, but they are. And we put on a new countertop, put lots of mirrors, lots of lighting. And we actually, we put this uh, mosaic tile uh, on end. So it kind of looks like a city skyline. Mm, wow. So. Very cool. Nice. This is a brand new house. These people just built their house and they didn't do anything uh, special like put in, in tile or anything until until they hired me. So there we are. Wow. So we tiled all of these people really wanted to feel like they were living in a, a resort in the tropics. So this tile kind of looks like waves and we painted the cabinets uh, blue. The flooring was a really odd color, so it was very difficult to find tile that would that would coordinate with it. Um, we also added shutters on the window, even though that's a second story window. We wanted to make sure nobody could see in. I love that tile. Yeah, I loved it too. I've got a couple of just little vignettes here. This is a uh, the first time I used tile um, on end so that it looked like a city skyline with a great big huge. Uh, round moon mirror above it so i just love the look of that is that Oops. i just want to see the looking at the the jagged top of the tile is it is it straight or is it just what i'm seeing there it's got uh, it is just what you're seeing it's glass so it's all finished edges um and we just made sure that the grout didn't ever go above it so it looks very uh, cool it it, it really does <laughs> Yeah, it, it and somehow, you know, things can always look like too perfect. Yeah, the countertop, it's square. You have this, mm -hmm. it's round. You have this, it's, right, right. it just adds a little um, character, I guess. Yeah, right. and everything we did in this bathroom was very neutral. Cabinets are neutral, countertops neutral, walls are neutral. The floor tile you can't see is very neutral. So something had to be a little pop of interest there. And that's that's what this was. Sure. This is that bathroom the, that we looked at that had the, the uh, window, the opaque window. So what I wanted to show you is how the tile and the, the green part of the um, faucet coordinated so well. Wow. What set that, the, the, the faucets with that green on top, mm -hmm. such a subtle nuance, but then it gets tied into the entire design. Um, is that some kind of lucite or or a, a piece of tile for the, the top handle? And some it's may a, be hearing this and not seeing it, so I'm trying to explain it. I think it's glass. Uh, ah. So that so it's a regular chrome faucets and the that's very um squared off, and the top of the handle is a piece of gl green glass, which is gotcha. very interesting. Hmm. Very nice. That's really cool. <laughs> Here's another um just a vignette view of uh, faucets and the um, the backsplash tile behind it. The backsplash is hexagons, little tiny hexagons in multiple color of uh, different kinds of stone. And then the the faucet to me looks like a really sleek, low to the ground race car, like a Corvette. It's, <laughs> it's so minimalist. Really neat. Hmm. Modern, but not over the top. Yeah. 
So this next one is, uh, this was a brand new house. We built the house for this couple. Um, this is the primary bathroom. The sink, again, off the floor so that you can kind of see under it, makes everything look bigger. If you, I can, don't know if you can see around the edge of the um, mirror is uh, the same tile that's on the floor. And we used three different um, sizes of tile. We have little tiny one by one mosaics. We have long skinny uh, subway tiles, and then we have big, huge pieces on the floor. So the, the interest in here was all about tile. If you see the next picture, you can see mm. how the, the floor, this is a porcelain stone made to look like a marble. So porcelain is going to be less expensive than, than marble and no maintenance. You wash it off with, you know, soap and water, whereas marble is very difficult to take care of. It's it's very porous, stains easily, and I don't like using it in bathrooms for that reason. So wow. you can see on the floor around the edge of the room is a lot of little mosaics. And then the next picture is the shower, the huge shower. You can see here where the mosaics and the big tiles and the, the, the floor is all mosaics. The niche on the wall is mosaics. We've got two shower heads two sets of controls. There's controls to the, just to the right of that little window, you see three controls. So they can get, actually get into the shower and turn on the uh, sh shower head they wanna use without getting wet. So you don't have to go up to the actual shower to turn it on. You turn it on, let it heat up and then walk into it. I love the fact that the tile goes on the floor and then up the wall. Like it's just so, rich yeah it's very elegant elegant for yeah. sure and and i love that 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 it's very um random all the tiles are very random uh the pattern in them so it's it, that makes it very interesting and unique it's one of my favorite bathrooms that we've done mm. so that was a much more contemporary bathroom this is a much more traditional bathroom so we're looking at into the room. There's a, a large walks, walkway from the primary bedroom into the bathroom. If you turn to the right, you would go into the uh, the uh, oh, <laughs> closet and the toilet room or the, the uh, water closet. And then if you go to the left, you go into the main part of the bathroom. So this is the before, really old and dated this is the after and you can see repeated in the mirror that this this the other side of the room is exactly the same thing they each have their own entire wall full of cabinets and and countertop and everything to use can then, i'm sorry can we go back to the before on that one sure the before yeah hmm. so you've got this the on the left hand side is the the ubiquitous uh raised tub platform that all these old bathrooms had mm -hmm. and this so let me go a little did you have a, a question about that um just wanted to process it and it's okay. you know, it's it's um now yeah, it's outdated not the worst not not fans of the pictures that they had on the wall personal feeling um can we see that tub area yeah that's the old tub okay that's the new tub Took out the braised part, put in a standalone tub, uh, better, uh, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of the word, shutters mm. on mm -hmm. the wall so that you, when you're sitting in the tub, you can open the shutter and actually look outside if you want oh, and nice. to see you. Nice. And then they've got on each side has this big tall tower of uh, storage for towels and everything. And on the floor where you see the the mosaics, that's actually tile laid in to look like a rug. Say that again. It's not a rug, a mosaic ah. rug. It's tile laid in to the center of the floor so it looks like a rug. So many would say, let's go back, please, to the before of that tub. Interesting. Did you keep that ceiling? Nope. We took off all that, that uh, soffit. That was another thing that they did. Uh, so we wanted the ceiling. It's actually a raised ceiling, um, a vaulted ceiling. So huh. all that does is create a place for dust to catch. Why why they do that? What's going on? Because I, I, I look at it and dimensionally seems kind of cool. Um, and the amount of work that went into that that molding yeah. and that tray and everything. Yeah. 
Well, well, it was just well, that was point. the look when the, these were built. I've had hundreds of these bathrooms done in like the 80s, probably. And sure. everybody's remodeling them now. And they all had that raised platform for the tub and they mm -hmm. had that mm -hmm. soffit. And yeah. And now so, they're hideous. Two houses back, I had a tub kind of similar to that. And it was a, a whirlpool built in as well. Mm hmm. And, you know, many would look at that and say, well, that's really cool. You know, you get, you get an area where you could put things around your tub and you could sit there if you want, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I can tell you that in the, I don't know, uh, 12 years I was in that house, I used that tub maybe twice. Yes. <laughs> and, and when my kids were little, uh -huh. they, they would go into it occasionally just, you know, for fun. Um but th there was so much water that needed to fill that up mm -hmm. that the <laughs> the on-demand, cost-efficient uh, hot water heater couldn't keep up. So it'd be <laughs> like, Dad, it's cold again. I'm like, I'm trying over here. I'm trying. So you know, while it looks like it's functional and, and you know, kind of cool in a way, it's a waste. It's a waste. Looking at this, you can use that 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 tub. You can feel perfectly comfortable. It's like your little sanctuary. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Love we have the glass of wine there. So, and then just being able to keyword here easily open the shutters because you're in the tub. I don't want to be like get out of like I'm slipping. Yeah, yeah. Just, I want to go like this with my hand and just go, and then I can see outside. Yes. And of course the space and everything and just the roominess just opens up the room. Yeah. It did. It totally opened up the room and allowed us to have all the storage that you couldn't have had before. So, and the the piece de resistance here, this is the old shower. You can see it's a very tiny shower and mm. this walkway went into the toilet room. Yeah. So we blocked off that toilet room and created this. Nice. So the nice. features here it's a zero entry. You don't have to step up over anything to get into here. Mm -hmm. There's a bench here. And above the bench are nine little rain heads. So you can lay on the bench and have uh, water therapy beating on your back if you want or on, on your aching oh, Fantastic. And, there is and, a, a rain shower head from very close to where your regular shower head is. There's a handheld if you need to sit down and want to use a handheld to uh, rinse off with. And then I love this part of it. So we did the niche inside the wall and going around the corner and it's actually lit up. There's lighting in the top of it. So there's plenty of room for the one person is uh, shower head is on the right side of it. One shower head is on the left of it. Plenty of room for all your products. And you can you could shower at the same time. Or the other nice thing about this kind of setup with, with the two shower heads is you can set your temperature that you like. Your significant other can set the temperature they like and you don't you're not having to constantly change temperatures on it amazing <laughs> it's so. just completely amazing um i will i will say uh with today's technology why aren't there like electronic presets that don't look tacky they're Maybe probably there, you know, that this was done a few years ago and the technology okay. has changed since then. So, um, sure. yeah, there's a lot of different things now that weren't available then. The niche there with the lighting, that's such a win, such a win. Oh my gosh. Just looks beautiful. In the same mosaic tile or not mosaic, same tile that's on the, the floor that you see there. Mm. And you can also see a little bit of it there. Now, I am going to say this with the, um, I don't know, 80s, early 90s looking tub that they had. What what are the, the platform? What do you call that? It's just a platform tub. It, okay. There was nothing special about the tub. Yeah. Um, I will tell you firsthand, if you told me, Steve, this is what I'm thinking. We're going to blow that thing out there. I'm going to give you this, you know, freestanding, uh, really classic, elegant looking tub I'd be like, I don't know. I'd, I'd have to see it first. Like I, I, I'd need a rendering. I would need yeah. a rendering before I, I, I let that go. Yeah. I, and, and because it just seems like it's a good idea, but again, 
based on my experience of having something very similar to that waste, it, it's a complete, and by the way, in mine, I had the whirlpool and forever. I was just waiting one day for that, the, the motor to go. Yeah. And, and guess where, guess what you had to do? The room on the opposite side, because you had a uh, tile in the bathroom. Right, right. Little, you know, trap door mm -hmm. <laughs> to, to serve mm -hmm. as the pump and just. Yeah, you know. yeah. They were a pain, a royal, royal pain. So this no, next no one, this next one is the exact same kind of thing where you've got the tub up on a platform. Yeah, yeah. Pillars, you just, you know, <laughs> ugly. This is what it looks like now. <laughs> totally different. Wow. So in this room. We had very dark wood cabinets and I'd put dark wood floor. It's not a wood floor. It's it's a, a tile look made to look like little uh, pieces of wood Love underneath the, the tub so that we didn't have white on white on white. We had white and dark and then white again. So I love that effect. I really lots, do. Yeah. Lots of really cool lighting in this room. <clears throat> and obviously people, you couldn't do hardwood underneath the tub for water splash over and warping. Correct. And yeah. But, yeah. Uh, oh, these are the things that the, the rest of us don't think of. So what we did in this shower, we used that same uh, mosaic tile on the floor, but rather this is something where you asked me last week, whether I like niches or not. And you've seen a bunch of different ways to make niches really interesting. This is not, there's no niche here. I don't know if I, here. So hmm. we did a shelf in here rather than a niche. Okay. Because this bath, this, this shower is big enough that you can use that and you're not running your elbows into it. You couldn't do that in a little tiny shower. But we have a, a bench here to sit down to use the handheld, two shower heads, two controls, and the beautiful, beautiful tile wall. This is a, actually big slabs on the wall, not tile. Hmm. Nice. Is it fr the freestanding tub? Is that a thing now? And niches, are they a thing in bathrooms? The So the niche, what I like about the niches is they're, they are inside the wall as opposed to the ones that you prefab ones that you buy that stick out from the wall. Uh -huh. They don't, they're not in your way because they're inside the wall and you can put some interesting tile behind them and make them look cool. I just used uh, a stainless steel one in a, a bathroom that I don't have pictures of yet. And that was really cool because it it felt like the the faucets, you know, the same thing, thing as the faucets. So cool. Uh, yeah. we're, we're out of time. Uh, I could keep going. This is just fun. <laughs> like, yeah, that's why bathrooms are fun because they are so dramatically different. <laughs> yeah, completely. And I feel like I'm living my life, you know, through you in these bathrooms, like, oh, I could do this, I could do that. It's 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 wide open once you work with a designer that has all the the concepts, even right down to in that last bathroom, the the plants on the call it a shelf, you know, mm -hmm. wasn't a niche, but um, just that little nuance. I'm, I'm thinking that's not a real plant. Correct. It's not <laughs> right, but it doesn't matter. It just adds just such a little spice. It's like yeah. having a meal and just. A little bit right. on top there right. and and boom, kicks it all up. Uh, and not and not using just your regular old shampoo, but putting it in a special bottle that looks good in there too. Well, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> and then you could even take it layers deeper and have those bottles that are fixed to the wall. Would you ever do that? No, I hate those things. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I always wondered, they're, they're very popular now in, uh, in hotels, I guess, because people steal product. Right, um, right. You know. It's kind of functional, but then mm -hmm. you got a bottle there that gets messy. You know, I don't know about you, but after a while, you know, my my bottles, I just throw them out, you know. Yeah. Because they get yeah, all and, like, and that stuff sits if you don't use it regularly, it sits right. in there and gets gunky and ugly. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. how do we connect with you, Marsha? How do we find you? MarshaMoreDesign.com is my uh website, and you've got all the information on there, and you can see all these pictures on the website too. Cool. M-A-R-C-I-A. More M O O R E E correct. Excellent. Thank you for today. A lot You're of fun. very welcome. Yeah, good time. And uh, looking forward to next time we get together. Me too. Thanks. We'll be right back. 
Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap-accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's it's going to be okay.